Hey guys, it's Billy out here in front of the world famous Plaza Hotel, ready to play one of my new favorite games, Black Eyed Peas or Black Guy Who Peed. What is your name, sir? Peter. Peter, and what are you doing in New York? Um, working at the Apple Store. Oh my god, the Apple Store. Apple Store is right across the street. What do you do there? You're at the Genius Bar? Uh, no, just a specialist. Of course not. I bought an iPod. That thing's a piece of shit. Here's how it's going to work. I'm going to rattle off a list of song titles. You have to tell me whether that song was recorded by the Black Eyed Peas or R. Kelly, or as I like to call him, the Black Guy Who Peed. If you think it's Black Eyed oh, be quiet! If you think it's Black Eyed Peas, you say Black Eyed Peas. If you think it's R. Kelly, you say Black Guy Who Peed. Do you understand, Peter? I understand. Is it Peter? Yes. Okay, great. If you get five right in 30 seconds, you win a big prize. You ready to play? Yep. Okay, Black Eyed Peas or Black Guy Who Peed. Put 30 seconds on the clock, please. Ready, Peter? Ready. Gay sunglasses. Here we go. And oh, wait. We. Go. I got a feeling. Uh, black guy who peed. No, black guy peas. I got a feeling you're gonna suck. Bump and grind. I am gonna suck. Uh, Bump and grind. Black guy who peed? Yes, correct. When a woman's fed up. Black guy who peed? Uh, yes, correct. Don't funk with my heart. Oh, black guy peas. Yes, correct. Boom, boom, pow. Black guy peas. Yes, correct. Your body's calling. 10 seconds! Black guy who peed? Yes, correct! I believe I can win! Oh, yes, you win, Peter! You win! Get back here, Peter! Get back here! Look, let's look at his prize! Oh my god, it's shampoo and conditioner! You'll love that, you're gay! Yes, actually. Yeah, you, you like shampoo! Well, we like oh, shut up! We'll be right back. Hey guys, it's Billy Eichner, and this is Funny or Die's Billy on the Street, a music and pop culture game show. Now, before we get to this week's three-round game, let's hit the streets and play a game I like to call for a dollar. Here we go. Sir, sir, any idea how Lil Wayne will be spending Thanksgiving? With his family, man, you heard? With his family. What do you think he'll be eating? Eating? Well, we all eat chicken, you heard? All the meat, steaks, everything, you heard? Yeah, what about side dishes? Side dishes? I don't know, salad, man. Some salad. Cool, thank you very much. Shout out, man. Raheem Patterson, man. Raheem Patterson. What was that? My name is Raheem from Patterson. Oh, Patterson, New Jersey. New Jersey, huh? That okay. is okay. Okay. Right. Heard it. Heard it. We all heard it. Sir, for a dollar, do you think Lady Gaga looks like an ostrich? Yes. There you go. Thank you. Miss, miss, for a dollar, are you going to miss the show Weeds? What? Weeds. What is that? Weeds. What is Weeds? Weeds with Mary Louise Parker. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. It's going. It's, it's going off the air. Oh, so I give you a dollar? Yes. Oh, or wait. <laughs> okay, yes. I don't know. Give me a dollar because weeds is going off the air. And... There this, this goes. Yes. The dollar. Right? Yes, thank you. I'll give it to Mary Louise Parker. Ah, uh, all right. Okay, all thank right. you. Sir, for a dollar, do you consider Bethany Frankel our gold of my ear? I don't even know who the f that is. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Miss, for a dollar, true or false, Bethany Frankel. Oh, my friend is obsessed with you. Oh, shut up. Miss, Hobbit got you down? Get you down yourself, man. Okay, thanks. Sir, for a dollar, would Kevin Hart recognize the name Megan Mullally? Hey, what? Would Kevin Hart recognize the name Megan Mullally? I'm not sure he would. Okay, goodbye. Thank you for nothing. Hey guys, it's Billy here in Midtown Manhattan with the beautiful and talented Rashida Jones, ready to play my new favorite game, Angry Turds. How are you, Rashida? Really good, thanks. It's so great to see you. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Yes, and you're in Parks and Recreation. What is that like? It's great. It's a really, really, really good job, and it's a really funny show with a lot of funny people. It's very funny. I love Amy Poehler. She's the greatest. Yeah, I like Aziz. It's great. Yeah, Rob Lowe seems like a bit much. Well, no, he's great. No, he's great, I'm sure. <laughs> Remember he had that tape? Oh, yeah, I never saw it. You never saw the Roblo sex tape? Oh, my God. No, it's a shame. I sh it's wonderful. He goes down on Bradley Whitford. Come on. Rashida, come on. Come on. I was on Oprah for like a whole hour. She treated him like he's some great author, like John Updike or something. <laughs> I heard, I also haven't read his book. I'm not a very, not a very it's good such fan a good of Roblo. I heard it's amazing. Okay, great. Here's how it's going to work. We're going to play a game called Angry Turds. I like you already. We all know celebrities are just like us, furious monsters that love to curse at their relatives and coworkers. So I'm going to read you a famous celebrity breakdown. Then I'm going to give you two choices of which celebrity said it. If you guess correctly at the end, you win a big prize. Do you understand, Rashida? I understand. 
Here we go. Your father produced the color purple, right? Yes. When you were young, was Oprah always running around the house annoying everybody? She was, was right. She wasn't annoying us, but yeah, she was around the house. Wow. Yeah. Can you tell me one, I'm obsessed with Oprah. You are. Can you tell me one thing about Oprah that I don't know and that Gail King doesn't know? Uh, that I probably can't tell you. Okay. But she does, um, she likes to wear PJs because she still kind of stays at her house sometimes. She likes to wear pajamas. PJs and we snack in the She should release a line of pajamas. She should. I'm serious. I would buy them. Oh, pajamas. Oh, pajamas. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, she can give it to all those kids in Africa. <laughs> Everyone in Sudan walking around their new oh, pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> We're really getting along. I don't know if you can tell. OK, here we go, Rashida. Angry turds. I'm going to read a famous celebrity meltdown. You have to tell me who said anything. If you get enough right, you win a big prize. Okay. And away we Go. You don't have the brains or the decency as a human being. I don't give a damn that you're 12 years old or 11 years old or that you're a child or that your mother is a thoughtless pain in the ass. So you'd better be ready Friday the 20th to meet with me. So I'm going to let you know just how I feel. What a rude little pig you really are. You are a rude, thoughtless little pig, OK? Tom Hanks or Alec Baldwin? Baldwin. Yes, correct, Rashida. Next one. I don't get talked to like that by anybody. Certainly not in front of my wife and daughter, you goddamn ass alcoholic fat shit. You're going to live to be about 57 if you're lucky the way you eat. I have nothing to say to you except you can suck my d Is that clear? Chevy Chase or Dr. Oz? Chevy Chase. Yes, correct, Chevy Chase. Next one. Am I going to walk around and rip your lights down in the middle of a scene? Then why the f are you walking right through? Ah, da, 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 like you're in the background. What the f is it with you? Why don't you f***ing understand? F take me, you're amateur. You're amateur! Yeah, you got something to say to this prick! Christian Bale or Winona Ryder? Ooh, Christian Bale. Yes, correct, Rashida, correct, Rashida, one more. I'm talking, you f***ing f***ing photographers should all be shot. You should all be shot, thank you. Hillary Clinton or Elton John? Elton John. Yes, correct, Rashida, you win Angry Tuts. Congratulations! Let's see your prize. Oh, oh it's a comforter! Oh, thank you, it's so comforting. Yes, yes, look at that big comforter. You deserve a prize, you're really good at that. I just spit on your mouth. You did. I'm sorry. It's almost like we kissed. Oh my God. It's like I'm Toby Maguire. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, sh I shouldn't have said that. Ew. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> look, this comforter, this is basically like what Oprah's pajamas must look like. Kind of. It looks like there would just be like a lot of jizz stains on this. Oh my God! Oprah doesn't jizz. She makes a beautiful golden juice. Say Oprah's jizz stains. Oh, oh. College jizz stains. Oh, okay. Well, nothing wrong with that. Rashida, thank you for playing Angry Turd. Thank you. Okay. We'll be right back. Watch Parks and Recreation. Bye, Oprah. Okay, guys, now it's time to play the game I like to call Quizzed in the Face. There are three rounds of pop culture trivia. If you get two questions wrong, you're out. And if you make it to the third and final round, the questions are subjective. So for you to win, you have to share my opinions about pop culture. Let's go. Miss, Miss, you want to get Quizzed in the Face? You can win money right now on the street. What's your name? Elena. Oh, Elena, I'm Billy. Nice to meet you. I'm glad to meet you. Well, What's happening? I'm going out. That's okay, this will be really quick. Okay, here's how it's gonna work. If you get Obama. two, what? Obama. I didn't ask about that. Okay, if you get two questions wrong, you're out. If you need help answering a question, we can beg a stranger twice, so you can compliment my hands. Do you understand? No. Perfect, here we go, Elena. Round one, question one. According to Beyonce's song, Run the World, who runs this mother? A, girls, B, bears, C, Lorne Michaels, D, Freemasons. Girls. Are you sure, Elena? Yes. Yes, correct, Elena. Yes, correct. You're on to question two. Here we go. Okay. What? Nothing. Jeez. Question two. Who did Sinead O'Connor tear up a photo of on Saturday Night Live in the 90s while saying, quote, fight the real enemy? A, the Pope. B, the President. C, Casey Wilson. D, those people in the sample picture when you buy a frame. What? The Pope. Yes, correct, Elena. Yes. Boy, you would know it all. A thousand million dollars. No, you don't get anything yet. Hey. Oh, okay, great. On to question three. What are you worried about? I have to meet someone. I have things to do, too. I have TV shows I like to watch. You don't have to take the subway. Excuse me? You don't have to take the subway. I take the subway all the time. I have a Metro card and everything. I was born in Queens. 
What's that? My Metro card. Okay, I am not threatened by that. Okay, here we go. Question three. Which television show did Vice President Joe Biden publicly describe as doing more to educate the American public than almost anything anybody's ever done so far? A, Smash. B, Cupcake Wars. C, Will and Grace. D, Animal Practice. Will and Grace. Are you sure? Uh, no. Why are you saying it then? As I wanted to. Correct. Yes, Elena, you're on to round two. Question two. Here we go. Round two, question one. You're doing great so far. I'm doing perfect, so. Yes, exactly. You are. How you doing, sir? Why? How you doing? Okay, good. What's your name? Zay. Okay, hey, Zay. Okay, Elena, here we go. Round two, question one. Actress John Travolta is a renowned what? A Scientologist? B figure skater? C he tells it like it is? D all of the above. Scientologist. I don't know about the others. Well, what do you want to do? Do you want to beg a stranger for help? No. You're just going to say Scientologist. Yes. Yes. Correct, Elena. Yes, on to question two. Here we go. How you doing so far? Question three. This is question two in round two, my dear. I think it's three. Yeah. No, it's not. It's, it's round two, question two. Are you screaming at me? Are you some guy? Are you, you like one of the... Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. What? You're a Republican. No, I'm not a Republican. I'm like the gayest person alive. What? There's a lot of gay Republicans. Oh, I hate them. Okay. Okay, here we go. Question two. Which of the following people make an appearance in Pirates of the Caribbean 3? A, Mick Jagger. B, Keith Richards. C, Keith Olbermann. D, Keith Haring. E, Keith Sweat. I think Keith Richards. Are you sure? I'm not sure about anything, but I... Well, you can pass the question. Do you want to compliment my hand? No. Okay, that's very nice of you. Keith Richards. Are you a Rolling Stones fan? Yes. Okay, so you're going with B, Keith Richards. Yes. Correct, Elena. Yes, you're on to question three. I've won everything. No, you haven't. On to question... You go now. Or... I have things to do, too. No, but you don't have to be at a thing that you... I have a thing. I have three things tonight. I have three things for tonight, and I have a lot of tickets. Here we go. Question three. You're almost I there. I be there right now. Oh, I don't know what to do for you, Elena. Question three. According to Rita Wilson, according to Rita Wilson, Tom Hanks' wife, what has she not touched in 20 years? A, a straightening iron. B, her sons. C, caffeine. D, spinach pie I don't know her hair straightening iron her son's caffeine spinach pie caffeine correct Elena yes you're on to the final round round three I'm making these up no I'm not it's true caffeine it says it right there I'm too smart for you no you're not I wouldn't go that far lady okay here we go final round this is it how many in the round this is it you can win a hundred dollars right here are you ready Elena yes here we go. Here's how the final round works, Elena. In the final round, the questions are subjective, meaning your answer has to match my answer, my opinion. Do you understand? Sort of. OK, great. Here we go. Here's the question. Which quote unquote amazing TV show will I never get around to watching on Netflix? A, The Wire. B, Friday Night Lights. C, The Larry Sanders Show. D, Breaking Bad. Which amazing TV show will I never get around to I've watching? I've never heard of any of them. Well, you're going to have to take a guess, aren't you, Elena? Which TV show will I never get around to watching on Netflix? A, The Wire. B, Friday Night Lights. C, The Larry Sanders Show. The last Sarah Larry Sanders Show. I've never even heard of it. Okay, not a big Gary Shandling fan? You said Larry Sanders. He, it was played by Gary Shandling. I've never, I've never heard of either one of them. Okay. A, The Wire. B, Friday Night Lights. I gave my answer. Larry Sanders Show? Yes. Well, you're wrong. Well, too bad. Bye. You're wrong. So I don't get $100. I'll give you one more chance. Here we go. Oh Just because I like you, Elena. Here we go. Here we go. If Casey Anthony had lunch with Tara Reid, what do you think they would talk about? A, Saved by the Bell. What? I'm trying to think of who Casey Anthony She's is. the one with the kid. They said maybe she could kill. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. okay. Here we go. If Casey Anthony had lunch with Tara Reid, what do you think they would talk about? I don't know who Tara Reid is. She's an actress. She was an American Pie. A, Saved by the Bell. B, Being Judged. C, How Dumb Guys Are. D, All of the Above. Being Judged. Being judged. If Casey Anthony had lunch with Tara Reid. Why are you repeating this 500 times when I'm in a hurry? I'm trying to help you out. I don't want to be helped. So, what's your answer? Being judged? Yes. You're wrong, Elena. Okay. You're right. wrong. Bye. Bye. That was really fun. Bye, Elena. Have fun at, on the bus or wherever you're going. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
Hey guys, it's Billy out here ready to do a special lightning round segment with the one and only Rashida Jones. Gonna see what people think about Rihanna, Rashida Jones, and so much more. You ready, Rashida Jones? I'm born ready. Take my hand. Okay. Let's go. Miss, do you love Rihanna? I do. Yeah. Who do you like better for a dollar, Rihanna or Beyonce? Who is it? Beyonce. Yes, here you go, you win. Hey. Okay, let's go. Do you know Rashida, do you know Rashida Jones? I, she looks familiar. Oh God. No, give me, give that, give me this no. back. Give me this back. Let's go, Rashida, I'm so sorry. Okay. She knows Oprah, you dip sh Miss, 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 who's better for a dollar, Rihanna or Rashida Jones? The second Rihanna. one. Rihanna, no, Rashida Jones. I'm sorry, Rashida Jones, it's so embarrassing. For you, not for me, I'm doing fine. Miss, 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 for a dollar. Okay, okay, all right, she doesn't watch Parks and Rec. Miss, for, oh, oh, doesn't watch Parks and Rec. Didn't see Celeste and Jesse forever. Played at the Angelica for four, four, four smash months. Miss, miss, for a dollar, who do you like better, Rihanna or Rashida Jones? Rashida Jones. Yes, yes, here you go, you win. That's her, that's her. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, oh God, she's thrilled. Rashida, let's go. Miss, miss, you love Rashida Jones? You love Rashida Jones? No, miss, miss, miss. Miss, who do you like better? Who do you like better for a dollar, Rihanna or Rashida Jones? Rashida Jones. Yes, there you go, you win! That's Rashida Jones, what's your name? Desiree. Desiree, Rashida Jones, Rashida Thank Jones. You. Desiree. Nice to meet you. Watch Parks and Rec? No. Oh God, let's go, Rashida Jones! Oh my God. Hey guys, it's Billy out here in front of Anthropology, where white women spend thousands of dollars to buy ethnic fabrics, ready to play one of my new favorite games, Dead or Boring. What is your name, Miss? Pauline. Pauline, what do you do in New York? about to drink with <laughs> my best friend. You just get drunk? Yeah. No, come on, you have to do something else. Shop. Thanks. All right, drinking and shopping. Well, you look like the cowardly lion and I like it. Thank you. Okay, here we go. We're gonna play dead or boring. I'm gonna rattle off a list of celebrity names and you have to tell me whether that person is dead or boring. If they're dead, you say? Dead. If they're boring, you say? Boring. Correct, Pauline. Okay, if you get seven right in 30 seconds, you win a big prize. Okay. You ready to play? Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. Put 30 seconds on the clock, please. Ready to play dead or boring? Yes. Here we go, Pauline. Dead or boring? And away we go. Elvis Presley. Dead. Yes, correct, Buddy Holly. B boring. No, dead, Taylor Lautner. Dead. No, boring, Taylor Lautner, come on, Audrey Hepburn. Boring. No dead, Randy Jackson. Boring? Yes, correct, James Brown. Dead. Yes, correct, Lauren Conrad. Boring. Yes, correct, Jessica Tandy. Dead. Yes, correct, Heidi Montag. Boring. Yes, correct, Tupac Shakur. Dead. Yes, Tiny Tim winner, yes, you win, Pauline. Congratulations. <laughs> yes, Pauline, here's your prize. Oh my God, it's paper. It's paper, yes, Pauline. Congratulations. Thank you. Look at, look at all of it go. Pauline, we need to pick this up. <laughs> Get down here. We gotta pick this up. My God, this is your prize, Pauline. Oh my God. Here, here. Here you go, you have a drinks date, right? Yes. Okay, give some of that paper to your friend. Okay, I'm gonna give it to everybody. Yeah, give it to everybody. <laughs> okay. Bye, Pauline. Let's see you walk off with that paper. There she goes, work it. Work it, give us a look back. There she goes, enjoy the paper. Okay guys, it's Billy, I've got cash in hand and I'm ready to give it away if I can find anyone who knows a damn thing, let's go. Miss, for a dollar, name three white people, go. Three white people? Yeah. Could be dead or alive? Yes, famous please. Elvis Presley. Okay, one. Um, Michael Jackson. He, he was not white. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh I'm sorry. God. Miss, for a dollar, name a woman. Name a woman? Yeah. Um. Who? Who? No, name a woman. Name a woman? Yes. Um. The yoga bag, name a woman. I'm sorry. No, name a woman. Name a woman? Yes, go. Any? Yes. Oh my God. Yes. This is so hard. Name a woman. Um. Name a woman. <laughs> name a woman. <laughs> no. Sir, were the Berenstein Bears Jewish? I don't think so. Oh boy. Miss, miss, miss. Does From Sea to Shining Sea include Tara Reid? Please, miss for a dollar. <laughs> True or false? True or false? <laughs> Leah Michelle can play the flute. Sir, it's wedding bells for Julie Benz from Dexter. Um. Oh boy. Sir, it's wedding bells for Julie Benz from Dexter. Good, I'm so glad. Oh good, me too. Katy Perry. Oh, oh my God. Uh, oh my God. Chris Tucker's back. <laughs> ah!
Yes, sir, for a dollar. You ready? Yes. Name three seven dwarves. Three of the seven dwarves. Go. I'm um, sleepy. That's one. Mopey. One more. And grumpy. Yes, there you go. Take it. Yes. New York. Billy on the street. Okay, guys, now it's time for me to answer some of your Twitter questions, questions and comments you've tweeted me on my Twitter account, at Billy Eichner. Here we go. Alex Colliard writes, at Billy Eichner, what should I do about my girlfriend? I don't know, tell her to be more like Amy Adams. And if she's not willing to be more like Amy Adams, then tell her to pack her things and get out! Okay, next tweet, Vincent Diagostino writes, at Billy Eichner, I would cut off my middle nut and serve it to you on a silver platter if you would please follow me. Well, I graciously decline, but do you remember that scene in Funny Farm when Chevy Chase eats lamb? testicles that was a great scene do you know when I was 12 years old I was obsessed with the movie, movie funny farm and I actually wrote a musical version of it and I don't remember much about it but in the title song everyone sang funny farm funny farm that's all I remember okay we got a question that someone wrote to me on Facebook here Eric John Billy do you enjoy taffy no I'm 